Welcome to The Antic Show. While you are here, please hit that subscribe button, join our page, hit the little bell so you know when we upload. We got some really cool conversations coming up with some really cool people. Now, let me just show some love to my sponsors and let's get this rolling, baby. Mobile Wash. The future of car washes is now, ladies and gentlemen. Download the only on-demand car wash app and your car wash specialist will be on their way to you in minutes, whether you're at home chilling or at work hustling. And make sure you use my promo code Okayape without any spaces to get your car wash discount now. TriStar Worldwide Freight Brokerage. Loads in all 50 states, South America, India, the Philippines, 20 offices in Armenia, and they continue to grow. And they are huge supporters of the community and entertainers like myself. TriStar, join the movement. Camera Productions, positivity for all your photography needs, bringing you professionalism and a very fun personality to work with, specializing in luxury weddings, uh, lifestyle photography, and luxury real estate productions. Call your favorite photographer right now. Lights, camera productions, and action. New York Life Insurance. Look, life is crazy and full of surprises. That's why you prepare for the absolute worst while planning for the future. For all your life insurance and retirement planning needs, call my boy Siamanto at New York Life Insurance. Check one, two, one, two. The Antique Show is the place to be, ladies and gentlemen. This is DJ Sam Flash, live and direct from Glendale Hills. Welcome, Mr. DJ Sammy Flash. Good to have you here, my man. What it do, what it do. We know you're a very busy, busy person, so thanks for joining us on the weekend, my brother. My pleasure, man. And Great honor to be here. And I think it's the second show or the third show. This is, this is number this two. Is the yeah. fifth, technically. Fifth. Oh, this is the fifth. The second yeah. session. Second like session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fifth, oh, nice, fifth nice. Show. So Glad yeah, man, here, my we're gonna knock off a of season one, and uh, it's an honor to have you as a guest what, what? in this season one, bro. We what, all love what? you for what you do. You're one of the best in the game. So it's cool to have you here, brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. you. I'm guessing you were partying just last night. You were partying. You got that right. I partied until 2 a.m. and put my alarm on nine o'clock. And by the time I got up to this hill, my gas tank light came on. So uh, mm. yeah. you owe me a gas. <laughs> <laughs> Go, going downhill from here should be pretty easy. Like, <laughs> yeah. put it on neutral. Like, put it, it was on neutral, uphill, get it, it back. Yep. Yeah. So, it, this, it's all calculated stuff. So, before we begin, man, like, the ultimate question. Why are you called Mr. Sammy Flash? Where did... Where, <laughs> That's a story, huh? You're we're like, di ooh. diving in deep real early. I've been DJing for the past 25 years. Wow. And, except playing at uh, family function events, uh, like weddings, engagement parties, birthdays. I was spinning at the Playboy Mansion for oh. about uh, 10 years. Wow. And the, the mansion. name- The and Mansion. The, yeah, The Mansion. Damn. And the name Flash came right after when people found out that, you know, that you can't take any cameras mm. to the mansion. Gotcha. Yeah. and. There was this portable ten dollar cameras, you know. Uh huh. Uh, to, the wind up little Kodak yeah, one time the used. Kodak was well, disposable. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to break the flash so it doesn't flash and oh they find out. Oh my god! DJ is taking pictures and shit. So I broke the flash because the strobe lights was enough flash for me, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So. I used to take a lot of pictures and seven day I got, I got no seven, way, seven, bro. Seven flesh. No way, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Playboy that's, Mansion. That's, huh? Yeah, that's how it, the name came up. So So you were the resident DJ at the Playboy Mansion, Mr. Hugh Hefner himself? Yeah, I played there ten years at their and most of their annual events. Gotcha. So yeah, it was it was pretty cool run for the for so that like ten years. years is no joke. You know, were you doing like every Saturday? Like, how does that work? Or do they? No, they have just the they party? have uh, annual just the annual uh, thirteen or fourteen events like midsummer nights, uh -huh. naughty amateur nights. It's different different events, big events like uh -huh. two three thousand people show up. You know, yeah. wow. Uh, so th th that was it. I, I got hired there and. How did they find you? Like, how did how do you end up? Yeah, how did they find you? Uh, how they find me? Okay, the man himself, 
Mr. Hefner, rest in peace, rest he, in he, peace. Had, rest in peace. Uh, he had security guards, Armenian security guards. Nice. They were very loyal to him, and he, he trusted their judgment, so right. shot Montiker. So he, they told him about me, you know, give him a try and stuff. And I, and I heard the stuff that he likes, mm -hmm. you know, Sinatra, Sammy Davis and stuff. So I was playing that type of remixes to gotcha. get his attention and mm -hmm. his crowd's attention. So, and a lot of the European uh, remixes that his guests knew about. So, and yeah, that's, that, that that's about it. So the, 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 I got hired by, uh, uh, Mary Connor rest of his, I mean, <laughs> all these elders uh, yeah. long gone, but yeah. Yeah, she she hired me and she was a staff manager. So gotcha. after that, everything went well. So gotcha. at the time, were you just DJing or you were producing, dropping remixes at the time too? Uh, uh, nope, not at all. I was, uh, I had a lot of time to uh, explore remixes and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, th th the music was not limited at that time, you know, so yeah. uh, I wasn't producing, I was just uh, uh, playing music mm -hmm. and he kind of liked my mixing skills so that landed me at the at the mansion dope man that's awesome bro that's yeah it was pretty cool that's very different from what you do now hmm. very like uh it you're is I, different i mean it's no secret you're one of the biggest names in armenian and i would even say international music man your music is uh loved uh all ages uh and uh thank you thank i know you. primarily your uh audience your your start off audience was obviously definitely armenians and we worship and praise to have uh, an artist like you because i personally think you were definitely on the forefront of the kind of like evolution of armenian music i was a 90s kid man so i grew up in the dj 90s djs era and it's completely different now i don't know if you remember at the parties the armenian parties back in the days there would be armenian music two three hours and then the one hour of english where the house would yeah, be played and this is yeah, that so and, it, and, it, and dj didn't get on like before 12 o'clock you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah after that yeah. And you get like either 30 or 40 minutes set to do what you gotta do yeah it was different i started in the 90s so compared to now it is pretty different nowadays the demand is pretty high you know and a lot of uh youngsters they do want to follow that steps and yeah, yeah. You, you you really want to become a influencer you know of course show them the right way and how to do it most important thing especially at our armenian events you got to respect the crowd and you got to pretend that you're one of the guests of course yeah, and when you're on stage you x-ray the crowd where you are and you make sure you play the right music and when you're losing audience or when you're losing the dance floor you gotta know how to get them back on. Either you change the genre or something, you yeah. know. Uh, sometimes I used to just walk up to the crowd and tell them, you know what, okay, you have, your table hasn't moved, man. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> yeah, like, that's awesome. Yeah, it's just, and they, they like that, you they know, like the that. connection. So you gotta make sure you're one of the guests and uh, it, it's their event and you don't wanna play the stuff that they want you could blend it into what you have, but you want yeah. to show your skills, you know? Of course. If, if most of the DJs play the same stuff, then you're, you're, you're no different than yeah. others, yeah. you know? Your mixing skills tells you who you are. Yeah. And I don't know how to say this in English, but uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta represent a yeah, good taste. Good taste of music, so yeah. they could turn around and say, okay, yeah. he played something different. They heard the song before, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you have a different version, you know? Of course. So anything just to keep them on the dance floor. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's about it, you know? And that's yeah. definitely one of the things I, I love about you, bro. I, I still remember the first time I experienced uh, you DJing. You, you bring a certain energy that most DJs don't even realize that you're supposed to bring an energy on stage. Like, I feel like if there was nobody in the room, you would be enjoying the hell out of every track you're playing. You would still be having a blast. I feel like you're a good DJ kind of DJs for themselves as if there's nobody else there. You, you know you what I mean? So I've definitely gotten that vibe from you. I've definitely gotten that vibe from you. Yeah, you you're responsible for the event, you know? Yeah, you gotta make it happen. So no matter what you do, sometimes I, I sweat a lot on stage and uh -huh. people are like, okay, you know, he's not a mechanic, he's not this, and what is he doing? Why is he sweating? But <laughs> you're working. Job. You're, you're working. You're you're blue the, collar. The, the pressure that you have on your neck, oh, yeah. 400 people, oh, yeah. and 
they got alcohol on the table. You don't. You know? yeah. they, they become different people. You got to make sure you keep them, you know, yeah. happy. Just keep them on the dance floor to wear that alcohol off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now uh, your job, definitely uh, most jobs you would be frowned upon to drink on the job. Do you drink, uh, you have a drink or two, cut the edge kind of thing? Uh, or you just kind of go up there and eyeball it? Dude, most people would have a, a sip of something, you know what I mean? <laughs> You got but, one of those badoots. And, and you're Armenian, you know, they're going to come, me have a drink with well, us. You know, yeah, they approach me on stage with shots of, you know, tequilas yeah. and stuff. Or the, <laughs> the people who hire me, they ask me my preferred drink. They send it up to my to my booth. But uh, I try to keep it professional. Of course. You are responsible of for course. that event. You know? Of course. You're conducting the and party, yeah, literally. Yeah. You, like, four or five hundred guests, maybe 40 tables, they know who you are. You start yeah. taking shots at every table. You, you know, you yeah. be no, you'll there, be done. You know? yeah. yeah, you'll be done. You'll be done. So you just try to take it easy. But sometimes you feel like you need that shot to get in the mood. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've been at crowds where they're big fans and they start, you know, shaking hands beginning of the event. Once they're walking in, oh my God, it's you. So yeah, we're glad to have you. We're gonna have a good time, and you absolutely don't know anybody. Yeah. You feel frustrated, you know, but. You're like, give me that shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be overwhelming. Let, let me blend in, you yeah, know? <laughs> for sure, definitely. There's a sweet spot of like, not, you know, don't get hammered, but also. Oh, you can't you get know, hammered. Take, no, take no. A, People trust you. I mean, yeah. it, 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 it's your reputation, you know? And, and I've always said that I used to edit wedding videos when I was like younger, younger, mm -hmm. bro. One of the most boring jobs I've ever had in my life. Not mm -hmm. as fun as what you do, obviously, because my job is later after party's over. You know what I mean? Like everybody's forgotten. Now I have to. Uh, see, see, see what happened but uh i mean there's the video team at the weddings there's the there's like, like people spend thousands of dollars on a cake people like limo service it's a very expensive but i've always said like the dj is more the music and the entertainment is more important than the bride's dress let me put it to you like this right you are basically running Ooh, the party that's so, a like, strong statement bro i mean come on i mean a lot of girls are gonna go yeah I mean, it's a strong I'm statement sure the females don't i'm, I'm glad you're one. comparing that to the <laughs> bride's me, you are dress, so important you are so is. important in that scene sammy that yeah. the bridesmaids wear nikes to party to the music you're playing you know what i mean we're like they do the entrance yeah. they do like the high heels yeah. and then music comes on they change into sneakers and they party the party yeah, is the most absolute right. most important part it's the so, and everybody who's had a bad dj i'm sorry but there are bad djs out there it's no secret knows how important the music would have been and if they spend a few, little bit more extra money you kind of get what yeah, you pay for exactly. i'm sorry that's just how the world works don't skimp on your 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 most most important day it is in the, the mood. most yeah. important aspect of any party i'm sorry music there's no secret about it and, uh, yeah and that it. may be it, it may be true only in our it may be more true in our environment than it is at some american wedding. you know they might not give two kids how much they spend on them Oh no, so, of course. Yeah, because like have you been to like an American wedding where it's like twist yeah. and shout just for five that's what like, that's the kind of like cruise well, music. It's 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 a standard thing that they have, you know. And uh, especially in our community, wherever I am right now, step by step I reached there and uh I didn't have one of those big mentors, you mm -hmm. know, before that that was next to me to show me what's right and wrong. Right. The the, the the way that I have a team right now, not a team, but all these youngsters that they want to come and hang out with me on stage, I help them out with gigs. I show them, you know, mixing skills and stuff. If I had this type of mentor before, I would be at a different level. Right. But where I am right now, I'm pretty sure the amount of money that I charge, it's, it, 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 it suits me. Mm -hmm. And you're right, people do spend a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of money on weddings and extra stuff, but you don't want to take the the lightest envelope when right. right you know a lot of people right now let me just say they're in uh, uh sparkle events now they got now la gave the right they got fireworks fireworks and stuff, and like stuff this, yeah. yeah and then you're like okay so just this three four minute first dance fireworks charges the same amount as that dj mm -hmm. right there you know but right. the entire night He's on his neck. He's here until 2, 3 a.m. or whatever, you know. Exactly. But you're down in 3, 4. <coughs> you, you want people to, you know, see the difference. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Of you course. can't just wake up and say, I'm going to put this on, price on my, you know, yeah. on yeah. my the, the tag. This is who I am. This is what I want. You got to <coughs> reach there. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about bad DJs, people know what they're getting. 
of course. And when they when they start spending money on their wedding and the uh, extra stuff, and they have little money left, and they want you to fill in that budget, you feel you feel bad about it because oh, now you remember me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. of course. And and music is a big thing in. in Absolutely. You, you, you got to make sure you get the right entertainment choice. A lot of people prefer band. A lot of people prefer DJ. But, uh, and most of them, now they have diverse crowd. They got co-workers. They, you know, most, most bef before it was different. Shot mm -hmm. Jai, Amazon. They were getting married really young. And 22, 23, right? Max, bro. Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 19, 20, they were gone. And Jesus. they didn't have college friends they didn't have like they were barely on that step but now they don't get married real soon mm -hmm. most of them doctors, the on up attorneys yeah. and stuff like pretty established by the they're, time. they're pretty established yeah. they don't need anybody's help so yeah. uh, so they they take they, they 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 value what they get now when they call i yeah. know like it's not somebody like it's not the mom and dad that's mm -hmm. gonna uh, get involved to take care of it it's, it's them and they want to bring who they like yeah it, it i like that part you know mm. they're established and they're not scared to spend they want the best of the best when of course. you talk about it and most of the people they they have uh, people who take calls for them and so, you know, i like to deal with them directly yeah you know i shake their hands i talk to them about their event there's a there's an intimacy there you know what i mean they yeah, talk directly you want sure. them to feel good about it you your know? promises yeah. come directly from you and you know they, they, since they feeling. trust your judgment you 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 want to talk to them directly and you know, yeah. give them that handshake make sure you know they feel good with what they got so sammy if i wanted to book you next weekend impossible it is impossible <laughs> how, how far ahead are you booked i'm dying to know I'm pretty booked as far as Saturdays and stuff. I'm booking 2021. Year 2021. You're, Year 2021. You're, he's yeah. packed until 2021, bro. So that's not I a like bad day. I, I mean, <laughs> it's, that's it's, awesome, it's fun, bro. and that's you awesome. know, I'm I'm happy where I am right now because a lot of couples they they go by my calendar, and yes. that's when you know yeah. you reached where you're you onto to something. Be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because they call you from the venue and they change the date to make okay, sure when are you are available. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. That's incredible. Man. I've changed surgery dates just to match, like just to make sure I come to your event because wow. throughout the year, that's the only date I'm available. All right. And yeah. I have a schedule, a right. surgery. So yeah. that's crazy. I canceled my surgery just to make sure that you're happy. And because that's you know, love. That's love. Yeah, you got to make sure you love what you do, bro. And it's a good time for people like you who do what you do because I remember a time when your family was organizing an event or, I don't know, big wedding or some kind of, yeah. you guys know a good DJ? You know, just making Gidek, you know someone? But that's not the case anymore. Now they they see the name of the tracks that they listen to every day at their house and their cars. I don't know. Yeah, word of that. mouth is kind of Word of mouth is kind of a little bit as irrelevant it's, compared to what archaic, it used to be. Yeah. Word of mouth would be more of me telling someone like, okay, yes, his tracks are great, but this guy knows how to throw a party, bro. Yeah. You know, I've experienced it myself. So that word of mouth, I still think is up there as far as social media goes and everything goes. Word of mouth is solid. So um, I had this funny thing I was telling Nautic on the way here where like, I have to, like, I don't have a girlfriend. And I don't know when I'm going to get married, but I already know who my DJ should be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even have the girlfriend yet, but I already know who the DJ should be. You know, so that's not like, something new. <laughs> well, people get me before they <laughs> get the <laughs> bro. That's bro. So, huh? I was telling, I was like, I want to book a date with you two years from now. Yeah. And I just got to find a wife by then. That's, that's all. That's bro, that's <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. So how's July 2021 looking? <laughs> Somebody called and said, I said, Kesi or Chen, I said, like, Amar, here he comes. He said, Amar is three months old. He's picking it, like, I mean, now, like, the whole world is so, like, shock, chilly, but it was funny, man. So, like, you understood, right? He said, someone yeah, comes yeah, in, yeah. they want to do, he wants to do his birthday party in the yeah. summer. Yeah. 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 Anytime in the summer. So vague. No, man, that's awesome. Yeah. 
Thank you, subtitle to the mystery. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Allah Yar is your biggest hit on YouTube. Uh, 97 million? 90. That one got 97 million. I uploaded on uh, two different uh, channels. Yeah, 97 million. It, it went pretty viral. Your Spotify is popping too, man. Your Spotify is pretty yeah. lit. Spotify is doing good. YouTube is doing good. Uh, I have 150,000 subscribers. I wasn't following that uh, much, but it picked it up themselves, you know? They yeah. like the yeah. track and since we don't have that uh, much population, well, it's not only Armenians who support the track. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, you. Middle East got involved because the track itself has that Middle Eastern flavor it's to a it. Cultural touch to it. Yeah, yeah. and they, they they sang that track different uh, languages, so it kind of touched people's hearts, and yeah. you know, and that, that that's how it became viral. Just yeah. like the track, uh, the, the Migena, the Super Saco and yeah. MG released went crazy. Uh, Sweet Aksi Haiko. Yeah, that went viral. That went. I mean. Your remix of that was pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a remix for the, the for the club scenes in Middle East and here it, it, that 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 became big too. Yeah. Yeah, but that track, I mean, it, they sang that track forty in forty seven languages. And Jesus. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it was the number one track for two years in a row in, in many 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 cities in That's the Middle incredible. East. So yeah, we, the, Armenian, the Armenian the Armenian language the music like became pretty popular this couple of years and a lot of people started following yeah it, it falls in the uh, category of universal languages you know like universal you know how many language. i listen to arabic songs i don't understand arabic yeah. for example it's like yeah. music is music the vocal is just another instrument on the track really you know what i mean yeah. so that it definitely gives uh, gives us a, a chance uh do, is there any thing you go by like do you just do you remix a song that you're feeling for example do you uh how does that work? Does artists get in touch with you and say, yo, I want a track for this. Maybe you could drop a remix on my now, track, something like that. What's the process like? Now they they contact me a lot for remixes and remakes or, you know, basic, complete, brand new production because they know that you feel the crowd. You know the beat that the dance floor is expecting. Mm. And whenever I hear a track and the artist wants me to support it, meaning, you know, they want you to play it and they want you to make certain DJs play it to, you know, right. to get the, 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 the track on rotation. But you got to make sure that the structure is right. Of course. You know? Of course. And uh, growing up in the house music scene, I knew what the crowd is expecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want too many provisions in the track and stuff. You are aiming at a dance floor. Right. You're not releasing a track for them to listen to in the car or, you know, or whatever, but you're asking me this, then I got to redo that track. Right, right. Because in this it case. has to match the set. Second, it has to, you know, the, the grab the, 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 the people's attention. Yeah. You know? As in this and case, sometimes less is more. Uh, less is more, you know, just a simple, I don't know, repetitive with a, a twin ionica, I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you, you, the more you add, it becomes difficult to work with, you know, because yeah, the tracks true. that you're going to blend in, they're not that, you know, the thing. So you got to make sure it's dance worthy, the same dance floor worthy. Right. You know, but if you go ahead and try to release like, a, let's say, a, Sinatra style something I mean it's, it's different you add those elements to it you make no. it you know but if it's you're aiming to, for the dance floor then it has to be less right the less you know the, the groove is there the kick is there then like you don't have to reinvent the wheel it's, the, it's keep it simple keep it simple yeah. just make them just as long as they're you know they're moving mm -hmm. then we can make the track go into rotation in radios and stuff but that's that's why they approach me for music right they they want you to they trust your taste make, they, yeah they want you to make it a dance floor worthy you you pro, you rec uh, do you usually uh enjoy more making original tracks or remixes have a kind of different kind of thing to it we have our own uh, studio i work with my best friend mg shout out to mg Arik muradian one of the best in the states he's, he's a big influencer right, and he's, right. he's a is, is a big name in the music industry definitely and i work with him and he trusts my judgment and we we, we we create the track together and he noticed that 
the tracks that we did together yeah are becoming like big in the uh, special event scene mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah. and it's a different feeling every time you go to an event they could have played the original but they're playing your version that's right and that's you right. feel good about it and you continue to do that most people they don't care about youtube views just like me i don't care about the youtube views as long as i got 40 50 dj spinning my mm-hmm. tracks at at the events then that's it it's a made track right you know yeah, yeah, of course. just like <coughs> The stuff that I back then we didn't have this much choice, right? Especially during vinyl days, Adis, Harut, Paul, you know, Maxim, mm-hmm. Levon, Katarjan. This was the thing that we mm-hmm. used to play, you know. Yeah. And when we came to the uh, from cassettes to CDs, and now to computers and Digital, yeah. and stuff, it, it's different. Of course, of course, you know what's real different. My dad doesn't go up to the DJ and try to buy the CD off him anymore. My dad would go try to buy the CD, bro. You know, yeah, like, you think Shazam, know. what Shazam, they, what? They, yeah, oh, they download it. a lot. I remember. I as he sends to CD, but I sent to like, CD. Because bro. you're convinced that you might never hear that song again yeah. ever in your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. I remember my dad gave like, what? He spent like 40 bucks on like a thing CD, like a, like a rock and roll. There was a rock, rock and roll mix, yeah. kind of like an old school, and like those American. Forty kind. bucks, man. That he, he dropped. Four, he had to have it, bro. You know, my dad was big on music. My That's dad like, had like four a, months on Spotify. My dad, my dad had a record label in Egypt on, like in the seventies. He was bringing in the Beatles, nice, Pink Floyd's, nice. the Led Zeppelins, like obviously illegally uh, yeah. at the time. You know, different, different mm-hmm. time. But so I remember he would get obsessed with it. Well, actually, which leads me to another question: How do you, how well do you deal with requests? Like someone coming up to you and yo, I have a request. No, I, I know that's got a that's not exactly what it's you're a very up sensitive for. topic it is, I mean for sure they're my people but one thing that we have to understand is I am gonna play that track right yeah, yeah. okay in its right time it, or, or we ha- I have to escalate the crowd towards that track it's no. a new they track. don't see it's all a that popular yeah, track yeah, yeah. this person this couple spent shit lot of money on their wedding and you yeah. gotta understand they don't have to listen to the tracks they don't have to have you, the tracks that you want in their wedding video of course i mean imagine fast forwarding the entire thing like just because mm-hmm. your cousin rosgan was drunk and he wasn't leaving the stage mm-hmm. that thing has to completely like be erased from the wedding scene because right. nowadays they spend a lot of money and since there's alcohol on the table mm-hmm. people think you know what even when you tip the dj that doesn't mean that's what he's waiting for to play that track no yeah. you're breaking his set you're breaking the style mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and when they approach me and they and i know that it's something that i can blend in definitely you know by all means sure. i'll go ahead and use the same style right now i'll take care of that but if it's something that i'm gonna and it takes you know you gotta be nice to them because you know they're drunk or whatever you gotta of course let them know we are getting there in a few more minutes yeah. we're gonna get to that because their right. intentions are good too you know what i mean yeah they're they're feeling it they're feeling the party a lot they're, of times they, they they become like they they, be, they, they start demanding anti, oh no yeah, i want yeah. it right now yeah. and stuff, especially you know, if they tip you right they're kind they, of like they think yeah just because they tip then they're not there for that you right know? of course you got 400 people looking at me i'm gonna and imagine if every person uh, yeah, yeah. gets up and starts requesting, then you become a jukebox. Like, exactly. what makes you different from a yeah. three hundred dollar different? And teacher, even a juke, you know? even a jukebox wouldn't play it right away. They wouldn't play it. Right? You gotta <laughs> it wait be, for your turn. It be, yeah, you queue it up. Yeah. Yeah. There's seventeen queue. tracks ahead of you. you exactly. Exactly. You know. exactly. I feel like you should just tell that to the guy. Like, hey, there's sixteen tracks no, ahead the, of you. We're, and we'll play we're, it. We're, they're, they're still my people, brother. I mean, we're improving, but nowadays, most of the couples at events they have a certain per- person handling that mm. you know yeah i'm at kerik i'm at hope are watching yeah. the event make sure yeah for same sure same person with the same jacket doesn't get up on stage mm-hmm. you know yeah misbehave and calls him over let him do his job it's okay don't of course don't request of course you know? yeah and and i promise it, you you feel safe when somebody's involved like that you know especially someone and, a relative yeah. yeah and even when especially when there's alcohol involved a lot of things can happen and of when you're on stage you see what's going on before something happens yeah. Yeah. you warn that person that person that watches the event you know yeah. red jacket 
seven table number 17 you know of course be careful and then yeah. say a few stuff they say a few stuff on his ear and that's it he's gone alcohol changes the equation yeah, they, in they, that case yeah, you gotta be nice to them bro they of they course. become different people when alcohol kicks in yeah, absolutely that's our people that's our people that's us at the party too you know <laughs> or you when you're not djing right <laughs> but uh, i promise you are. you don't get as many requests as a bad dj does man because if sammy Flash is in the house they know that the entertainment's going to be solid i i uh that, that, I, the that only time bro that you you gotta make sure sometimes when you're not doing the right job they have they have to get up and of you know, course you, bro of what course. the crowd likes or you know you can you know just that's what happens when you deal with them directly you you find out about the background of the crowd what you're gonna have where exactly. you from exactly you know? of course what are you i'm um, this and her side is this you already know what you're gonna do you know mm -hmm. it doesn't take the first hour to start uh, wasting music because mm -hmm. you don't want to play all your hot tracks and stuff and then find out oh right they're from the poor Sahai and say, you know, they yeah, don't yeah. have shit to do with what you're playing. So makes perfect sense. I, I admit the last anytime you ever see me get on stage and tell DJ to play something, it's probably gonna be because it's he's not doing a good job and I know my family and my people and mm -hmm. like I'm even helping him like a lot of people are gonna get on this DJ dance floor right now. If you just kinda play maybe this song. I know my people, right? So um but I try not to do that too much because I used to try to DJ. I, I think you know, like music is one of my favorite things in the world, man. So I've always wanted to do that. But just because someone's a DJ, that doesn't mean they're cut out to be a DJ. Like today we got Starbucks and the girl just didn't belong in customer service. Just because just you're in that job doesn't mean, you know what I mean? So it's for the good of the party, you know? But um, so going back to the 2021. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's still in the books, huh? Do you miss weekends, bro? I mean, I know you love your job, but imagine you're... You work weekends. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You're you working family, the night shift You're a family too. man. You got kids, and uh, that's got to get tough eventually, man. Twenty-five years I've had had a weekend. It's Crazy, it's bro. it's a it's pretty it's a pretty tough job when all your relatives they go to events together. So it's one of your cousin's yeah, birthday, and if you've never been there, you don't know. Crazy. You know, either they do it on a weekday. Or they call me and they go by my calendar, you know. But yeah. in this case, let's say they're doing the birthday, you say you can say, I'm available July 21st. Because <laughs> the guy's born in September. You know? <laughs> uh, so not much room for yeah, negotiation. Especially when you're a family guy, you want to spend time with your kids. Yeah, of course. You know, my weekends are five days, Monday to Friday. I do everything with my kids. I try to cover up, you know. But uh, I'm, you know, it's not the same. Of course you know there's family picnics you know going to the beach and stuff you know even whenever i go during daytime on weekends my my eyes on my watch not on the clock like you know I, okay shot you're not enjoying it i gotta be back i gotta do this yeah. i gotta go early you know you're not you're not enjoying it that's know? gotta get tough man that's gotta be hard to adapt yeah, but to right now i try to manage my calendar like i block certain weeks Mm -hmm. let's say in 2020 or 2021 uh, block a month us friends and you know relatives we talk about it we are gonna go out of country so right. make sure you don't take jobs and it's different for me that the cost is big because for me it's three times more than what you're gonna spend because you'd be on a vacation on because yeah. i'm gonna lose money i'm not gonna book anything plus i'm gonna spend that the right. thing so yeah, it, um, losing weekends. Yeah, it's it's a big thing. It's a sensitive topic for me, but uh, it's been twenty five years of this, so that's crazy, man. But uh, you know, family support is very important there. Definitely, you know? definitely. Like there's there's one kind of support when you're just trying to reach something. There's another kind of support when you were trying to maintain it for twenty five plus years, man. So that that's pretty incredible stuff. You um you were telling me you uh, you you got a France tour coming up soon. I believe it's your first France tour. Uh, what is that this year? That is in April 2020. I, uh, 2020, yeah, April. Yeah, I blocked up. You blocked the whole month? About three weeks to, during Easter. I'm gonna tour in France, and uh, they added a few more cities, Belgium and Holland. That's sick, bro. Since I'm going down there, so might as well go to those uh, cities too. 
So yeah, it's, it's, it's a big project. And I'm very happy. I played in, I played in several cities in uh, Italy, but not France. So this this is gonna be, yeah. this is gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It was the Armenian crowd in Italy when you did it? Yeah, Armenian crowd. It was a pretty big event. They shut down a 15th century political prison. It what? Was a, it was a castle, like. Lord, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was in a village. And like nobody walked into that place. That's sick, dude. Shot, 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 love it. it was, they they turned it into a thing. So shot, love it. You don't, you don't hear much from an Armenian population in Italy, though, man. Yeah. You, you don't hear much. It wouldn't be one of the main spots, you know. That definitely yeah. for sure. Most of them are on front page of newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna say, France must be nice. I don't mean, there's antique. a few hundred thousand, you know, <laughs> Armenians in France. Shit, so that. And we had, we had the, we had the. S several churches there, so yeah, uh, shotgun, especially in Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moscow, you, have you done, you've been in and out of Moscow? No, 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 right? Uh, in the like, not recent years, at least, right? No, no, 30 years ago. I'm dying to I have played a in, show I played in uh, Hamalit with oh, no way, yeah, in Armenia. No and, way, and Harut Palian at the Harut Palian concert with Super Saco and stuff. How was that? that? Was pretty, yeah, well, about over. The, how much is the one, right? That's the main, that's the biggest in yeah, Armenia. Yeah, that's the biggest uh, thing, venue. So how much does it sit? How much does Hamalit? Maybe you could check into yeah, that. Yeah, I see. think close to 13,000, something like that. Jesus, are you yeah. serious? Yeah, it was bro. pretty packed. It's like their staple center. Yeah, one of the biggest events uh, I've did. I mean, it's a different feeling standing in front of the, that type of crowd. Of course, you of know? course. I played at uh, uh, Aqua Caliente Casino at the Tolby Theater and stuff, but that one was pretty insane. Like, yeah. Yeah. Tarbir, Hayastan is different. Armenia, I mean. Oh, yeah. Inch uses, Yerp uses, Burj Amin uses, Koyer Gilna, you know. Yeah. The yeah. minute the, the plane hits the tires, I don't know anybody else, but I feel like you're home. Oh, yeah. There's an emotional feeling. Mama, Papa, it is. Get them. It's a home sweet home it's feeling, it, man. Yeah. It really is. Anytime I have like an empty emptiness in me here, I know it's because I miss Armenia, man. And when we first came to U.S., we used to look at through the windows and when somebody was driving, right. cars passing by, mm. you mm. know, all these exciting things used to watch. I did that in Armenia, yeah. like uh -huh. making yeah. images, like, looking out the window. Oh, look, uh, the bus has a, a Armenian ad on it. You know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Khamir Judas, so what's here? Like, what? That's mm -hmm. <laughs> everyone and everything is Armenian. Like that bird right there, yeah. it's Armenian. Yeah. <laughs> when I took my kids, <laughs> my son was like, Pop, me at Mexico. I'm like, this is it, bro. <laughs> that's funny, dude. That's funny. Yeah, free water. He, he's a big fan of Pulpulak, bro. Yeah, I love Pulpulak, like, bro. You know we that. were staying at uh, Northern Avenue, and we come to Pulpulak, and it was just Zartner, Zartner was just jumping on Pulpulak. Like, dude, free water. It's I'm like, yeah. It's the simplest thing, Jay. It's, it's the simplest, simplest thing, thing, but it's thing, such man. a beautiful thing, man. It's such a, the land of free water, right? How old were you when you got your family moved here, Sammy? I was 12. Wow. Wow. You go back often, like outside of working there? Like after you moved here, did you go back anytime soon? Or was I it quite didn't some time? go for 28 years. Jesus Christ, dude. So when I left Armenia, like it, it was different. It was during the war and stuff. Tony Dimas, a tank hit it, you know? So I, I didn't remember a lot of things, but. When, when I went back within a week, the, the poker, I, you know, of course, small, you, of course. everything is right in front of you. Yeah. And then so you, you fall in love right away. Bro. Absolutely. The Absolutely. food is amazing. The scenery, everything. People, I mean, people are insane. People, people are, are awesome. Awesome, man. People are, I'm obsessed with the new generation there, too, man. They're so cool, bro. They're yep. so cool, man. And I you, love you, those you people. You feel proud, dude. you know? Your peoples, man. Overall, majority, Kartaza, they're very intelligent people. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of art, like artists walking around, a lot of aspiring musicians, like a lot of very like a European feel to the everywhere, place. Everywhere, music, everywhere, you everywhere, bro. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I love it. I my favorite thing about Armenia is just, in, especially in the summer, just how active the streets are at night, bro. And like Armenia is everybody's front yard. Everybody, you know what I mean? Like you step outside, you're in the front yard with everybody else. Yeah. yeah. I love, my, love that man. My son started crying. My daughter started crying when we 
got back here. Really? You know, yeah. Here it's different. They're disconnected from one They're another. Disconnected. Right? Back there, like when they have this big story building, they do make a certain area like a playground for the people living in that building. Yes, yes. Here you don't have that. You don't. Greater Pagomes, Renike Hagop, Tursmik and Hagop is Meragop. He was crying. He, he used to go out and come back 11 at night. He, he, he didn't want to come back. It's different. I mean, over, over there, there's still kids playing soccer in yeah. the little park. You know, there's still, like just something as simple as like, yo, Sam, they talk about Maroj Newt and Kachbert. Me in 10 minutes to eat ice cream. Like, you used to remember, yeah. who does you that? used to who remember is? who had a soccer ball from that. Yeah. Town. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. 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 You know, waiting for him to come out, sure. you know. For sure. He uh, you, you was different, man. He he loved it a lot. We are definitely going back next year. And yeah, yeah, I have to make sure that they have connection with my motherland, definitely. I have to, I have to. And the kids too, man. It's absolutely important. I actually, after kind of in recent years, kind of going back and like, I'm going back pretty recently now, man. This is going to be my third time going uh in, in august i'm going but i swear to god i feel bad for the kids growing up here bro Definitely i swear bro. to god i feel bad jack for them, the hagop came up to the room and pretty much met bonnet but he came up like and he went to his room he got out and then snapped in a gravity right blanket of me on charge of him what the hell is that? Okay, no, no. Nerkevitz Kariaya, but he brought it. He brought a turtle to his room and put it in his bed. He turned it over for a cinema. Look, Daddy, yes. can't get up. Look yes. at him. Look at him. He's having fun. And I'm like, this is your place, man. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. You know, the least we could do is go back consistently, man. You know? And that's what I plan to do. If I could live six months of my life there and six months of my life here, I'd probably, I'd probably be the happiest person in the world. You can't. Everybody would. I, I would. It's just, it's tough. Dude, the food is different, man. The, everything, the food, food is different. Water, the vibe, and the energy. Time operates differently there. Time overall. Yeah, but there's a magnet on time. It's not moving. It's not moving Here you bro. wake up. By the it's time you wash your face, it's already noon, dude. Yeah. And there's like, and the, what I like is everybody likes to walk. Yes, exactly what I was going yeah, to walk. Everyone's that's watching. Why, yeah. That's why everybody's in uh, athletic shape. And everybody's in decent shape. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's in decent shape. But just walking is the thing, bro. Like, swear, you step outside of your house and it's lit, bro. It's mm -hmm. lit. Summer they, night. You don't want to drive. There's everybody's no at a certain drive. size. You don't need to but drive. Once you walk in, let's say, yeah. you haven't said anything. You just walk into a store. They know you're an outsider because of your size. <laughs> it's the size. Yeah, nobody's it's, at your it's size. It's not clothing anymore. It's, anymore. Size, it's, it's not hats or facial yeah, hair yeah, anymore. Bro. It's size. You can't be that size. The funniest <laughs> thing I've heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so you true, must not bro. be. Because, from here. Yeah, because they like to walk and they do things. Yes. You know, here like you have Postmates and stuff. You Uber <laughs> yeah, Postmates is just killing it. Yeah. Wow. In, in even, a bad way. Yeah. Even if you go out to get food, you're still sit down and drive. You know, it's what yeah, I mean. Sometimes like I order walk. food and. The guy calls from the gate. the guy said me guy Gate the the left in the hallway, make a right. Lazy people, man. in the world, bro. Yeah. That's so funny. What have we become, man? What have we become? But let me tell you, bro. When I Remember when there were no delivery services? You used to walk several blocks to bring a pizza home yeah yeah, yeah. in the 90s oh, oh, you guys are yeah. in the 90s yeah i was i was i was conscious <laughs> <in the 90s. laughs> i remember my stuff. folks were planning about me coming yeah, to this room yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thing is bro when i came i did three months in armenia last year bro and when i came back i was like okay i, I i'll just walk everywhere here too I, I loved it like i loved that concept so i tried it but walking somewhere here is the biggest waste of your goddamn time in the world, bro. I'm sorry. Because it yeah. plays a role with time and your busy schedule, too. Yeah, yeah. Why would I walk to the Smart and Final by my house and waste 20 minutes of my day when I could just go make five, make it a five-minute trip? Like, your time is, like, counted for here, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? You just go to pick... You go to your cousin's house to pick something up. Hour of your time gone. Like, what's the chances that your closest people live nearby you or in the same city as you? Not at all, bro. Your car I is basically your Armenia, feet here. I compare Armenia to uh, Palm Springs. 
time is not going, bro. Like, time is different. The time is different. Like yeah. I used to say, you know, it's 100 degrees here. Why do people go to Palm Springs? It's 120. Yeah. But once you make an exit, I don't care if it's a shithole or whatever it is. <laughs> once you exit, your phone call stop yeah. and everything. Yeah. So you're not worried about your sick grandma or whatever, whatever. It's kind of my man. Yeah. You're just like you, yourself, so and the heat. Palm Springs is more of a mental place we go. Yeah. In a physical desert, right? It's like a more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not going. You're not taking your camera with Bro, you. Bro, this is just picture. one block. Like each can cut us, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. The people yeah. just go there and they wait yeah. for Fourth of it's July a, it's just to go and walk gathering. because you, they get disconnected from everything. Yeah, that's right. Same thing in Army. Huh? Here I was it. Now it was just America. It's Hong Kong, Yeah, yeah you know? for sure. Yeah. For sure. Jama Chiet, bro. It doesn't. No. It doesn't. And then another. And the funny thing is, the day starts off so late in Armenia. It really, like the morning starts off late. Like over here, six, seven a.m. It's chaos, traffic, traffic. Oh, in Armenia, bro, you wake up. It's like eight a.m., nine, nine o'clock. The streets are quiet still. Everybody's yeah, just yeah. chilling. No rush. You remember it's all the, good. You business, remember the, the yeah, horn? Country, bro. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro. They hunk a lot, bro. They hunk a lot. They hunk a lot. They, hunk a lot. they, hunk a lot. they curse with honk. Mm -hmm. they, they say hello with honk. They yeah. they give each other like you know. John Pine and Tully, you know, every, they, they, they have conversations. They, they with tank thing. with honk, you know, like, did, 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 and I then you get a room at the, <laughs> like, a popular place. That's it. You're honkified, bro. My, 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 my friend from who's visiting right now, he's like, there's, how come they're not honking? He's like, why aren't people, <laughs> how come they're not honking? Like, how do you guys know <laughs> there's so a car coming or something? <laughs> and bro, I swear, it's a joke, but it's true, bro. I mean, it's like 4 a.m. And I was staying at Gentron, like in central, like uh, in Yerevan, like the main, the main area. I swear to God, there's two cars in all of Armenia, in all of Yerevan at that time. They cross paths and manage to honk at each other for a few minutes, bro. <laughs> it, they manage to honk, but it doesn't... Over here, like a honk is you're cursing at someone, basically. Right? Like it's like... Yeah, here's different, but over it's there, offensive. It's like oh, one honk yeah. means in the entire sentence. Hi, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm fine. You know, like yeah, it's a language. Each got your little small set twenty. So I tell you, what you love it, but it's a single time. Coffee, did Galisem? Eric, check on. That's awesome, bro. That's sick. That's awesome. All right, Mr. Sammy, any, what should we look forward to in the near future from you? New tracks coming out, new, new bangers coming, coming out? New tracks coming out. I've been uh, given the opportunity to work with more high-profile artists. You know? uh, it's a great honor to work with uh, uh, Armin Chick, Yes. Martin yeah. Makarchan, and I have a track coming out with uh, Vache Amarian. Sick. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm working hard on those and I just released a track with Taranto it is an instrumental track and you know I try to release dance worthy of course track just of course. to you know make sure I have enough material to work and uh, plus support my fellow artists that's right man that's and right it's, it's looking good I'm uh, I'm trying to release an album but uh, instead of an album because I'm working with different artists. I want to release the same tracks from that album one by one. Yeah. I want to give them enough time for exposure for each track, you know? Of course. Yeah, certain time for advertising and stuff. Right. Everybody deserves the, the, that same type of exposure, of you know? Uh, I thank everybody for working with me. I thank my, my producer, MG. Shout out to MG one more time, one of my best friends. That's love. Uh, Shout out, MG. Happy birthday, Vartan. I want to thank every artist that worked with me all this time, all these uh, venues that support me, and my fans and my people who continue to hire me and they trust me with their the special day of their life. You know, it's, it's a big thing. It is. It is. Yeah. That's cool, my man. That's cool. And we're honored to have an artist like you, bro. And you're thank an you awesome so guy. Much. I'm, I'm, a a big, big, I'm a big follower of your work because I know where you start from and where you are and I'm right behind you I'm, I'm everybody knows that I'm a big supporter of anybody that has any kind of potential I'm right behind them thank you brother you never give up and uh, you're a big part of the damn show and ever since we were kids we grew up together and That's we right. saw the elevation of That's right. it, it's pretty tough you know in in the in the US in the diaspora to 
work with limited things, you know? Of course. Imam, Shad Jamanak, I'm going to say this in Armenian, Shad Jamanak, Marty Galisin, who compare an anum in Chica, Hyastan, Eli Hyastan, it's Albert and Melna, but Yerki, the Perum community, Het and Hamimatum. Okay, but it's Muranum and we're as community. So, Egat, Chegat, Jamanak, Amen in Charets, where the Yerki, I think, Amen in Chop, Apa Hovlin, of course, you know? But now, Iran's mod film industry is popping up you know you get a little the production and stuff oh, yeah. but then make a make it slow you feel proud but of course a sterile or major art and to say can ban on it in the young generation you know i want to give a big shout out to all the sponsors my sponsors trip and roll car pros you know tristar one of the biggest uh uh trucking dispatchers they they continue to support all these young artists yeah. to continue to do whatever they're doing in of the course. diaspora. You see what That's I'm saying? Right. That's right. Shamanagin there was this big festival they were doing. It was called Voske Ashu. Ah, yeah. Rose Bowl and Rose Bowl. 60, 70,000 people there. Yeah. There was, that was love. I'm a big supporter. I'm a big supporter of uh, uh, the young show. I'm Thank right you, behind brother. you Thank anytime. You, anything you need and really means a lot you're brother. a big influencer you know you take social media armenian social media to a different level once your mark on smash it it uh okay i'll pay the jack of me get you like relax take it easy yeah, it's just you know have sure. fun for like sure moment, uh, you like drilling that into their brain well it's just smile man that's right you know that's the, that's it's the key, a big man. thing same thing with me i Mist Marty Kaushman, all cop social media page of professional pie is by Chem Karam, bro. So, like, Mikit, sometimes you want to get involved in that. Of course. You know, you know, each can call us, keep it business, yeah. business, business. Once so you're using them just for that only. No. Be yourself, too. So you got to be yourself. People love it when you're yourself. Oh, sometimes just when 18 chairs, there are Mary Link, it's in Karevan. Okay, Tessa, okay, Tanjima, Karevan, Tessa, let's come down to you know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Every day above ground is a good day, bro. So we gotta. That's right. Continue having fun. Great to Super be here. Super blessed, my bro. Thanks, you, thanks for uh, being here, brother. We really appreciate thanks for your it. Time, yeah. You're you really guys, make guys sure too, to so. follow the Antique Show. Sammy Flash mm-hmm. uh, on Instagram. Make sure you follow Sammy Flash. He's gonna post some ridiculous stuff every now. <laughs> yeah. One more thing, guys. I wanna add to my hundred fifty thousand subscribers on YouTube. There's this new thing that they added that. Being a subscriber doesn't mean you are going to get the content that I'm releasing. Huh. They added this stupid bell next to it that you have to subscribe and hit the bell. For a notification. For a notification. Yes, yeah, right. do that because now I've got to tell everybody. Yeah. Not all my followers are getting to my new release updates, you know, yeah, but. For sure. Help me out. Yeah. yeah. Hey, while you're here, do the same to mine. Subscribe, hit that bell. And uh, we'll be back for more. Mr. Sammy Flash, thank, thank you. So you. You're the man, sir. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Appreciate so it, man. This was awesome. Thank you.